So let us talk about uh, plasma antennas. We'll see the introduction, the features, the characteristics, the types of plasma antenna, the working principle of uh, plasma antenna, the advantages and the applications of plasma antenna. What is a plasma? Plasma is actually a gas in which certain particles are ionized. Means these ionized particles, they respond strongly to electromagnetic fields. That is why we have a concept called plasma antenna. Now, this plasma antenna is a type of radio antenna, which is actually currently under development. So, research is going on and the prototype has been prepared. A plasma is used instead of metal for conduction. And they can be used for both transmission and reception. And what are the features of plasma antenna? This is, uh, you know, they have this ability to focus on single beam. And they can communicate signals in very short pulse. And they are read configured uh, for uh, frequency, for bandwidth, for gain, length of plasma column and radius of glass tube. Now, these things are very important as far as the antenna is concerned. The frequency, the bandwidth, the gain. And if they are reconfigurable, re it is a very important aspect as far as plasma antenna are concerned. And they can transmit and receive for so much purchase if the frequencies are widely separated. This is also a very good feature. And the characteristics of this uh, plasma antenna, actually gas ionizing uh, process can manipulate resistance and when ionized, the gas has infinite resistance and doesn't interact with RF radiation. Then after sending pulse, it can be deionized and eliminate the ringing effect and it can operate on 90 gigahertz. There are various types of uh, plasma antennas which are under discussion. Laser induced antenna, the plasma antennas using tube structures and explosively formed plasma dielectric antennas. So let us talk about this laser induced antenna. The transmission was a realized along a plasma channel that, can, uh, that was actually created by the atmosphere breakdown. And the atmosphere breakdown was created by the focused laser emission. This is laser induced antenna. And the laser is used to de designate the path of the antenna while an electrical discharge is employed to create and sustain the plasma. And plasma antennas using tube structures. These tube structures, we use tube structures. We can achieve low base band noise for higher frequency and very high frequency transmission. And when the plasma creating voltage is turned off, the antenna effectively disappears. This is plasma tube antenna. We have a plasma tube here. We have a plasma shield and we have plasma drive circuits. So this is how your prop, uh, this uh, plasma antenna, uh, specifically plasma tube antenna is going to look. And uh, the third type is plasma dielectric antenna. Uh, what you can do, a simple explosive charge design. This is called a plasma cartridge can be used to generate a column of ionized gas through some simple explosive charge design. So this design, 1 to 3 grams of seeded explosive charge, which contain Fe, PBC and KLCL, NO was used to create plasma. And due to high temperature generated by the explosive material, the surrounding gases become ionized, forming a plasma column. And the maximum attainable temperature that can be achieved is dependent on the available O, that is oxygen, for the fuel recombination. So it has been proven that a plasma jet antenna is feasible. It is, it is possible. So this is the electric and magnetic field produced by the antenna. Now you have a transmitter here. These are the transmitter, uh, transmission lines. This is the magnetic field and this is the electric field. So this is how your electric and magnetic field are produced by an antenna. So what is the working principle if we are talking about plasma antenna? A plasma antenna it generates localized concentration of this plasma to form a plasma mirror which reflects a RF radio frequency beam launched from a central field located at the Now an ionized region or solid state plasma can be generated in silicon using electronically controlled devices like plasma diodes. 
so that are positioned between closely spaced metallized surface which constrain the beam another plasma can freely move by switching groups of plasma diodes on and off that follow the desired geometry of the reflector and the resulting pattern form a rosette of overlapping reflectors only one of which is active at some time and this enables the beam to be steered quickly without the need for mechanical motion and when supply is given to the tube the gas inside the it because uh, plasma is all about ionized uh, particles it gets ionized to part of the plasma and when plasma is highly energized it behaves as a conductor and then antenna generates a localized concentration of uh, plasma to form a plasma mirror that uh, deflects the rf beam launched from a central field located at the focus of the mirror so when plasma jet enters into the spiral field the signals are emitted and the spiral is localized concentration of uh, plasma so these spiral behave as plasma mirrors which help in transition of rf signals uh, this is a view of what i just told this is an rf beam this is uh, the the mirror which i was talking about this is a plan view side view and this is how the rf beam are being generated so what are the advantages of plasma plasma possesses a high level of conductivity and based on the frequency which is used a plasma antenna may be able to receive signals that would not be detected by old older types of antenna so you know as well as it boosts signal the signals are boosted that are then transmitted out to any point a plasma antenna is much less susceptible to electrical damage also and that can often be repaired much faster if some event does occur to temporarily in interference with the, its function so these are the advantages and if we talk about applications since this is a new technology but still military application for its stealth weight and easily you know reconfiguration that is why military applications are more prominent also unmanned air vehicle sensor antennas the detection and striking of ballistic missiles telemetry broadband communications and ground penetrating radar and wind shear detection and co collision avoidance these are all the applications of this antenna thank you so much i just gave a hint about uh, plasma antenna this is a new technology the ppt cut sees from them thank you so much